what's good youtube this your boy chi world back to all again with another art tutorial man if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that like button comment subscribe make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat in today's video we finna work on a cartoon head live so without further ado let's jump right into this thing okay first thing you want to do after you find your picture like always just let me see i made a little photo like i say selfie shots i go on instagram and i look for dope selfie shots that i want to use after you find a picture you want to use you want to hold shift drag the little corner till you get the perfect size you need it in and i think that's going maybe just a little small a little cool in the center drop the opacity down just a little bit not too much all right that's good create a new layer right above your picture and then if you're using a digital art tablet like me you want to set your pressure on your on your brush so you want to come right here hit this drop down menu right there go to new brush hit okay then come right here to pressure and change the bottom two numbers to three and it'll automatically give you this brush you see me using every video and all it is is a pressure brush so if you press light it'll give you a light line if you press down hard it'll make it thick and then if you go back light it'll give you that effect you know what I'm saying so now that we created our brush, let's make it a little smaller. Okay, that's good. And then what you want to do, you want to hold control and the plus to zoom in. Now, when you're doing your cartoons, man, you got to make sure you're doing some clean line work. Anytime you mess up, you want to hit Control and Z and just keep pressing Control and Z. And what it's going to do is going to let you take a step back. I'm going to make my brush a little bigger. Okay, now what we finna do, we finna go to the pencil tool and we are gonna fill in all these thick black areas like the hair, the eyebrows, the beard, the mustache. So just come right here, double click on, I mean, click on your brush tool, right click it, go to pencil tool, move this color black to the top, make sure the bottom one is locked underneath. Make sure your settings on your pencil tool look exactly like mine. Hit OK. And now zoom in. And what you do is you just draw out the areas you want it to fill in. So right here. 
right now I'm just trying out the area that I want the pencil to to fill in and as you can see I'm giving it like the texture like a hair texture as I'm drawing it out when I close it it's gonna fill that area in I like to go ahead and fill in my eyes with the pencil tool as well. Okay, make sure you always find a good stopping point to save your work. You know what I'm saying? Just in case anything happens. So, let's go ahead and save what we did so far. Now, while we're still on our pencil tool, what we're going to do, we're going to come behind the drip and add the 3D effect.
Now what we finna do, we finna work on the fade. So what I like to do, I like to make a little patch of hair. Just like now. And then after I make it, I like to use it as a stamp. Okay, cool, that's good. All I do is copy it, make a selection around it, hold Alt, and when I see the two arrows, I just keep dragging and dropping. What you wanna do, you wanna fill it up closer to the hair, the throat, you know what I'm saying? draw in manually to make it blend better we're gonna add more hairs
Now that we finish with the line work, what you want to do, you delete this. You want to highlight everything. Want to go to object, expand appearance, click merge on your pathfinder. So we can make all these lines become one line. See how all those lines just became one big line. Okay. After you merge all your lines, you want to make a copy of your line work. Lock the top copy. Select the bottom copy. And you want to find a base tone for the skin start with I think we're gonna go I think we're gonna start out with this go to your rectangle tool after you find your color and drag that color over the entire picture right click the color go to arrange and send to back you know if you did this step right if you look over here at your layers and you see your line work sitting on top of the color. Now you want to highlight everything once again. Hit merge on your pathfinder. Then you want to right click the color. Go to isolate select group. And now we can delete or change any color that's cut off. That's isolated from everything. So I just deleted that outer color. This area is isolated because it, I made sure when I drew it, I made sure I didn't leave any openings. Hold shift. The color more than one thing at a time. Another thing I like to do is come over here to our layers. On our color layer, hit the drop down menu and scroll down till you see your last black line line work and lock all the black line line works okay leave the top two unlock come over here to your white selection tool and now we get to delete all the little colors that's trapped inside the hair without deleting our line work because we just locked it so let's go ahead and clean this up Get all these little colors that's trapped. Zoom in, make sure we ain't missing nothing. Now what I'm finna do, let's uh, highlight everything. Go to edit, edit color, adjust color balance, preview, and I wanna tweak the skin tones just a little bit. good for now let's change this lip color isolate select group that's why you need to make sure when you're doing your line work make sure you leave no openings so when it's time to isolate select the group you won't be coloring or having a difficult time trying to only color one area see i made sure these lips was closed off
Okay, now that we got a nice base tone down, what we finna do, let's make a copy of our color layer. Let's lock the bottom copy and turn the eye off. Let's go to the color layer that's in the middle. Get your white selection tool. And we're gonna delete only the skin tone out of this layer. And make sure you delete all the colors that's trapped inside the hairs. After you delete the skin tone out of that layer, you can turn the eye back on, on the bottom color layer, create you a new layer in between those two. So now, when it's time for us to do our shadows, it'll fall right behind the eyes and the mouth. Let me give you a little example. See, that's why we do that process right there. So we ain't gotta try to work around it. We can work right through it and it'll fall right behind it. So now let's go ahead and start with the shading process. So what I do is I sample the skin tone and I find me a nice shadow that blends into that color well. And we're gonna start bang. That didn't do it right there. Hit OK. Go to your pencil tool. Make sure the bottom color layer is locked. And make sure the top one is open. And I do all my shading with my pencil tool. So what you want to do is you just want to look at the picture you're copying. And just place the shadows exactly where you see them. So that's all I'm doing. I'm looking at my picture. And I'm placing the shadows exactly where I see them in the photo.
Every time I create a new shadow layer, I put it on its own layer. So every time you go lighter with the tone or darker, just make one layer for it. And there you have it, you guys, how to make a cartoon head next level style, you feel me? Make sure you stay tuned, more heat coming soon, and I'm out there, bitch!